Hello ladies and gents, I uh, hope you're up for watching some weird stuff. Uh, first clip that I'm going to show you in the first video that I'm going to make um, is a clip from the BBC Life uh, series of documentaries narrated by Sir David Attenborough. Uh, this clip deals with the type of fungi that infests uh, insect colonies um, and can actually just wipe them out. Um, it's a very cruel, um, strange and extremely clever process. Hope you enjoy the clip and I'll share, you, uh, share my thoughts on it with you afterwards. Here we go. Incredibly, 80% of all insects live in jungles. Few are more successful than the ants. There can be 8 million individuals in a single hectare. But jungle ants don't have it all their own way. These bullet ants are showing some worrying symptoms. Spores from a parasitic fungus called cordyceps have infiltrated their bodies and their minds. Its infected brain directs this ant upwards. Then, utterly disorientated, it grips a stem with its mandibles. Those afflicted, that are discovered by the workers, are quickly taken away and dumped far away from the colony. It seems extreme, but this is the reason why. Like something out of science fiction, the fruiting body of the cordyceps erupts from the ant's head. It can take three weeks to grow, and when finished, the deadly spores will burst from its tip. Then, any ant in the vicinity will be in serious risk of death. The fungus is so virulent, it can wipe out whole colonies of ants. And it's not just ants that fall victim to this killer. There are, literally, thousands of different types of cordyceps fungi, and remarkably, each specializes on just one species. But these attacks do have a positive effect on the jungle's diversity, since parasites like these stop any one group of animal getting the upper hand. The more numerous a species becomes, the more likely it will be attacked by its nemesis, a cordyceps fungus. Yeah, so uh, that clip um, to me, while absolutely fascinating uh, and beautiful, um, demonstrates um, the sort of natural order as it is. It doesn't matter wh where you look, um, different species, different habitats, uh, different continents. There's there's all this stuff that goes on, which is um, you know strangely beautiful, but also unbelievably cruel and 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 kind of uh, brutal at the same time. That's fine if you look at the world as in things just trying to survive, just trying to stay around, just trying to, you know, um, procreate and, and so on, uh, which is essentially what the fungi is doing. And it's also keeping the ants in check. It does have a benefit. Um, my problem is when you look at this from a religious perspective, um, as a perfect creation, um, the claim is often that your God is uh, all loving, all powerful, all knowledgeable, could do anything in the world. Um, and then when I see a process like this, I think, really, is that all he, she or it could come up with? Um, 
why would you create all these wonderful, beautiful things only to then put it through such a, a horrible process where you take control of an animal's mind and then have it wipe out the rest of its colony? This is, this is uh, crazy to me. So it's a question of what's more reasonable, that this was put into, uh, into play uh, by a divine being who, who decided that that was good and that was the best possible way that it could happen, while claiming to be all-loving and all-powerful at the same time? Um, or is this a, a struggle in nature of different life forms just trying to uh, survive and procreate? So that's basically where I'm going to be coming from uh, with these videos. Um, I'm going to put uh, a link in the description as to what documentary that is, um, where you can find it, where you can buy it. I strongly suggest you uh, support it uh, and buy it because seriously, some of the some of the shots they get are absolutely phenomenal in these documentaries, and you'll never ever be bored by watching them. They're they're fantastic. Um, if you enjoyed these videos, if you enjoyed the ideas, uh, then please do like, comment, subscribe, share, be brilliant, um, and stay tuned for the next video. See you soon.